the girl up there with the two balls? <laughs> Restaurant goes into the waterfall, uh, into the pond. It looks nice. Sit out here and have a coffee. A bit noisy, I think, with a boy pissing in the pond. Look. Hello there. If you are watching these videos, could you please help us out and push the subscribe button or click on the subscribe button if you like? It helps us out a hell of a lot. Be most appreciated. And now back to the video. Okay. And this is very, very beautiful coffee shop. Right. My house. Yeah. Oh, look at that. This is um, job of uh, Samui people a long time ago. There close a lot of uh, coconut tree and this is the main job of here. Classic. Here. Oh, that's a big one. Wow. See? Wow. Oh, there's another one, the big one. Oh, and they have the skate inside too. The bread. Very beautiful this. Oh, wow, they have swimming pool. Uh-huh, you see. Look! Wow, wow, wow! Oh, nice! This very, very beautiful coffee shop. Uh, in the corner, the way we uh, turn to uh, Naton waterfall. Yeah, we go inside and. Um, have to stop to have some coffee and very beautiful coffee this one very very beautiful coffee and very very beautiful coffee shop and they have uh, two pa luang coffee shop and house very very nice a beautiful picture of my king yes and have a lot of souvenir beautiful shop it's a good price look at that look at the menu it's good look at that so cute you see well, as you can see from that waterfall, this is not the busy season, this is the off season. Now, there's such a crowd in there in the low season. So, what do you think it'll be like in the high season? You can be able to move. Wow. Yeah, I think uh, there's too many tourists coming to Costa Mui. Um, and not enough infrastructure to handle them. I mean, I was watching last night, I think there was a plane landing um, uh, probably 30 minutes, uh, coming from God knows where, maybe from China, Australia, I don't think they're coming as direct from Australia, but uh, 
you know, come from uh, Bangkok and uh, maybe Phuket flies here, I don't know, Pattaya, Chiang Mai, all land here and bring in loads of um, tourists. And the island can't handle it, I don't think. It's a beautiful island. But I, I'd hate to be here in the uh, busy season, you wouldn't be able to move. Not, I'm in the low season and it's a lot of mine all to myself except for the Chinese tourists, so it'd be rough. The Chinese lady with the umbrella. Whoa. I mean, it was hard to stand on this little platform thing and she's charging through with an umbrella, hitting everybody in the face with it, you know, like so. Come from the back too, all the way up to the front to get a photo taken, pushed everybody out of the road. And Chinese tourists, she was an old, old lady. Never mind. I stood my ground, kindly pushed her out the road and walked in front of her. Because you know why? Because she was shorter than me and I would have beat her in a fight. Are you the coffee maker? You make the coffee? Okay. No for long talk, no? No English? Chang's very, very nice, I think. Um, prices are okay. I, I always thought it'd be um, really out of, out of control with prices, but it's not too bad. It's a little bit cheaper than Bangkok, actually. It's saying a lot. But yeah, if you get a chance to go to Ko Chang, um, take, take it up. It's just the airfares to uh, one way from Bangkok is about 2,500 baht. That's a bit of a problem. I mean, you know, to, uh, from Bangkok to... Um, Malaysia is about, about 1,800 baht, no, 1,800 baht, that's to Malaysia, so it's a bit nasty with the flying prices. Yeah, that, that's one way too, 2,500. Yeah. Uh, I'll uh, check it when I'm uh, editing the film. Yeah, it's, that's, that's the only bad thing about it, uh, the airfare to get here. Well, I mean, it's worth it if you're coming from overseas. Here's one of the tour, tour buses coming now, look at this. An old Jeep. I think it's an old Jeep. Yeah. Genuine safari. Yeah, full of uh, tourists. Yeah, lots of them around. Yeah. It's been a good trip. Probably head off back to the mainland tomorrow and head back to Bangkok. Wish could have stayed longer. It's very relaxing here. The only thing I didn't like was the boat trip. Wow, that's so long. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was over two hours, but I don't know. He must have done. He must have been ahead of schedule or something, so he slowed the ship down. Uh, yeah. It's a nice ship. Uh, it's really the price to get here. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll put that on the bottom of the screen down here too. How much it costs to get on the boat, come across. Yeah, and if you don't book it, uh, they give you a number or something and um, to go on the boat. And if you don't book it ahead, you've got to sit there and wait until there's a vacancy. And you could be waiting up to three hours in the queue. So, we, we decided to go, because uh, we weren't going to go, we were going to go down to um, Phuket for a um, day and do a lot of stuff down there. But um, we ended up coming across this uh, coast and because one of our friends was over here. So it's a very nice place, really. Yeah, I wouldn't like to be here during the um, high season. Oh, I don't think you'd be able to move. And surprisingly, the hotel's not too bad. I mean, I, um, the first one was, um, uh, the name of it, the first one we stayed at was, um, I left it on the bottom of the screen too, I can't remember. It was a um, uh, thousand baht a night. It was very nice to um, be on the film. Wi-Fi. And you connected it, you couldn't get a connection. And I went downstairs and asked the lady, and she said, oh, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, usual shit you get. You know, it's your fault, and blah, blah, it's not my fault. You know, they leave their uh, routers on for so long, and um, 
they get cross connected and blah blah and uh, overloaded and they just won't let your body connect. The way to fix that is just restart the router and look, no problem. You know, a lot of them don't understand that. You go, restart your router and I'll fix it. No, 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 they're an expert, yeah, okay. So anyway, she restarted the uh, router and everything worked, so I decided to leave. Now, the new one we went to, I said, no, check, make sure you've got Wi-Fi, and I said, yes, yes, Wi-Fi, so uh, we get to the uh, hotel room, and no, no Wi-Fi. There was Wi-Fi, it was really weak, and, you know, you're lucky to get the text coming through. So, okay, so we moved rooms, and then I had to pay an extra 100 baht, because it was an upgraded room, closer to the router. Oh, gee, okay, okay, a beautiful room. Look, I'd give this hotel right now five star, except for their... Uh, their uh, Wi-Fi, they want to do something with that, but uh, I'll give it five star anyway. The staff are beautiful, really nice. Swimming pool looks great. Uh, room's fantastic. Shower's good. Everything. Plus, 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 plus. Okay, I'll, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the waterfall. It was uh, pretty good, wasn't it? Except for that lady with the umbrella, that Chinese lady. Very nasty. So I'll put it all together in one day and you can watch it all. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share and like. Dislike if you like. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay, see you in the next exciting adventure. You know, I think we've got to Walking Street tonight. Hmm. Go to Walking Street, um, to the other half that, uh, what's it called? Um, Fisherman's Wharf, I think it's called. Fisherman's Walk. Going to go there tonight, I think, and, and do the rest of that because that, that's such a long strip and very, very nice. If you, if you look around, you can get some really good bargains with food, and if you could come be by the look, and you can get some really nice restaurants, very, very good. Anyway, it has got coffee. Nice little Leo here. Nice like an idea. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share and like if you like. Or just like. Okay, thank you.